Okay, hi. Um, further requests to some students. I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, another review problem um, looking at the total O2 content in the blood. Now, you have to remember that O2 content is not just in the arterial blood, but it's also in the venous blood. When the, uh, when the blood returns from the heart to the lungs, um, when it returns to the lungs, it is venous blood. It dumps CO2 and it reloads the hemoglobin and the plasma with oxygen. Now at that point we would calculate what, how much oxygen is in the arterial blood and that is your CaO2 formula. And your CaO2 formula is also known as your total O2 content of oxygen in the arterial blood. And that formula is your hemoglobin times 1.34 times my SAO2. This part right here is what is combined to the hemoglobin. Well, we also have a portion that's dissolved in the plasma, and we're looking at arterial blood. And so what we do is we take the PAO2, the partial pressure of oxygen in the arterial blood, and multiply it times 0 .003, and that's Henry's law another time, and we'll discuss that. Well, knowing that formula, that's our total O2 content venous, uh, O2 content value in the arterial blood. But our equation up here is asking us, our problem, to, for us to calculate what is the CA minus VO2 for a patient with the following values. So what this up here is saying is it wants me to compare the total O2 content in the arterial blood to what is left in the venous blood, which is now the total O2 content in the venous blood. So I take the CaO2 and I subtract the CbO2. So I'm going to write that over here. I have to calculate my CaO2 and then I have to subtract my CbO2. And that's going to give me my Ca minus VO2. Normal is going to be about 4 to 5 vols per cent. Now what I need to do is to plug in my numbers. But what I haven't given you so far is my CbO2 formula. Well, if you know your CaO2 formula, you know your CbO2 formula. Here's why I know you know it. We know that this is the arterial blood. This is the arterial saturation. And this is the partial pressure of oxygen in the arterial blood. This is the total O2 content of oxygen in the arterial blood. And now I want to calculate the CVO2. But now I want it for the venous. It's almost identically the same formula. Hemoglobin count doesn't change from arterial to venous, nor does the amount of oxygen that each hemoglobin can carry. But up here I'm looking at what the saturation is in arterial blood, but I don't want that now. I'm looking at venous blood, so I want to know what the SVO2 is because I want to know what the saturation of oxygen is in the venous blood. Parentheses, you can see the similarities from arterial to venous, plus up here we wanted to know the PaO2. Well, we're looking at venous blood, so now let's look for the PVO2 times 0 0.003. I always write my formula out because it's easy for me to sometimes get go ahead of myself and forget a step. So I encourage you to write out your formula and then to do each step appropriately. So let's go ahead and find out what our CaO2 is. First off, it asks us to get the hemoglobin. My hemoglobin's right up here, and it says the hemoglobin is 15 grams. Each gram of hemoglobin can carry 1.34 milliliters of oxygen. So it's 15 grams times 1.34 milliliters times, remember we're looking at saturation of arterial blood, so I have to look up here, and where's my sat? Oh, here it is, 80%. Don't forget, 80% can be represented as 
eight, zero. It is very important that you remember your parentheses and remember the PEMDAS, okay? Your order of operations. We have to do what's inside the parentheses first before we do anything else. Well, this is the combined with the hemoglobin. Now we're gonna do the other part here, and this is the part that's dissolved in the plasma. It said my formula says I need to find the PaO2. Well, there it is, 50. Parentheses, 50 millimeters of mercury times 0 .003, and that's gonna be my CaO2. Now I have to do the math. Okay, I forgot this is dissolved in the plasma. When I add the total, them both together, I have the total O2 content, also known as CaO2 in this situation. Now, I am going to show you that the CvO2 formula is the same as the S CA of, uh, CaO2 formula, except for I'm going to use venous values. My hemoglobin count is still the same, 15 grams. Each hemoglobin can still carry the same amount of oxygen, 1.34 milliliters. But we're not looking at arterial blood, we're looking at venous, so I have to find out in my problem, did I get a SVO2? And yes, I did. 40%, make sure you put your parentheses, plus, now it's asking me for my PVO2, I have that up here, it's 20. Times 0 .003, okay? Now remember this is also combined with the hemoglobin, and this is dissolved in the plasma. This is venous, this is arterial, and I'm doing the subtraction, and this is my C, A minus V, or V, O2 formula, when I do the two of them together. So now we're gonna go ahead and just do the math. I wouldn't round anything until the very end. A vols percent is a lot. Deciliter, um, it's deciliters per milliliter. Milliliters per deciliter, pardon me. So I'm going to take my calculator and go 15. I'm doing this one up top here for the combined with the, uh, and the arterial blood. 15 times 1.34 times 0.8 equals 16.08. Okay. Plus, I'm going to clear that out. 50 times 0 .003 equals 0 .15. Okay, so now I am going to circle this in green because these are the two parts that you're going to add together. You're going to add this part, which is combined with the hemoglobin, and then you're going to add this part, which was dissolved in the plasma. And when I do that, that's 16.08 plus 0.15. When I add the two together, it is 16.23. You write that three better. 16.23 vols percent. That is my CaO2. Now our problem is asking us what is the difference between arterial and venous, so I got to do some more math here. So you grab your calculator again, clear it out, 15 times 1.34 times my SVO2 coming from up here times 0.4 equals 8.04. Okay, and remember, we're doing this part right, combined to the hemoglobin, plus what's dissolved in the plasma, 
make sure I've cleared out my calculator, 20 times 0 0.003 equals 0 0.06. And that's what's dissolved in the plasma. Now remember, this number, this is the venous part. This one here is the arterial. And I'm doing the subtraction part. I want to know the total value of the CVO2, so I'm going to take 8.04 and I'm going to add 0 0.06 and that's going to give me 8.1 vols percent. Now remember, this is only going to give, this is just my CVO2 value. What is our original problem asking us for? It is what is the difference between the arterial and the venous. So if it's CaO2 minus CVO2, I have to plug these numbers in now. What is my CaO2? 16.23 vols percent minus my CVO2. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't want to draw across, but it, that's this number down here, minus 8.1 vols percent. Take my calculator. 16.23 minus 8.1 equals 8.13 vols percent. That is my answer. What is it? That is the C A minus V O2. That is the total O2 content difference between what was in the arterial blood and the venous blood. Normal range will be about four to five vols percent. This number is much higher. When this number, the difference between what's in the arterial blood compared to the venous blood is greater than five vols percent. I want you to think about what is happening in the body. When there is a greater difference between what was in the arterial blood originally, oxygen, and what was in the venous blood, when that difference is greater than five vols percent, I want you to think about it starts at the lung in, with plenty of O2, and then at the venous system down at the cellular level, it's really low. Well, what's in between those two things? Tissue, lung, the heart right in the middle. This is a dealing with a cardiac output, okay? It's a heart problem. So when I see that my C A minus VO2 value is greater than five vols percent, I'm thinking I have a decreased cardiac output. I hope this helps you. Uh, when you're doing this formula and you're doing the CA uh, minus VO2 formula, the one formula you have to remember is, if I can remember my total O2 content formula, hemoglobin times 1.34 times my SAO2 plus my PAO2 times 0 0.003, you've got half the battle already won. When you get to the CVO2, just change all the A's to B's and plug the numbers in. Practice, 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 and I'm sure you'll get it. Good luck.